Welcome folks to Final Fantasy World Division. Today we're gonna talk about building an elemental team. Yesterday we've talked about a uh, colorless team, which is referred to as uh, rainbow teams. I don't know why, probably because they have the colors of the rainbow. I hope. And um, today we're gonna talk about elemental teams. What's the difference between an elemental team and a rainbow team? Well, the difference is that not only you can uh, chain normal damage if you have all the slashing units but you can also chain the element most likely you will be only chaining the element because most likely you won't be uh, sporting like same uh, damage types so for instance I have my water team here uh, uh, doubly so named water you, you could guess why and we have all water team members they have different damage types we have two magical damage one slashing and two piercing we have my uh, light units that they're all slashing because reasons, sure. So this is actually a very strong um, team comp. Earth. Earth we have Ketone, we have Mont, we have Murmur, we have Aileen and we have Libial. So you can see the, p the, the, um, the pattern here. The pattern is all units of the same element. So let's go ahead and build one for the sake of building one. This was not the team I was looking for, so let's disband this formation. Okay, so what do you do? First of all you select an element. Now the meta elements are obviously gonna be light and dark. They will always be meta. But there are some emerging elements such as lightning and um, to some extent uh, wind and water. Now earth is not meta, fire is not meta and ice I don't think it's meta. The strongest units are found in lightning, a few in waters which I do not possess and definitely in light and definitely in darkness. So if you want to build a mono element you need to go with those if you care about PvP. As for PvE, everything will work and eventually you're gonna need a team with each element because the game throws at you every time different events with enemies that are weak to some elements and a resistance to everything else. Mostly. Mostly. Let's just say sometimes. So how do we build one? We select, let's say we select, let's say we select uh, like uh, light. We're gonna go with Lucio. And first of all, okay, first of all, I will say that tanking is a little bit overrated. Now, if you have a tank, sure. I don't have a tank in my white. I have my uh, water. Let's go with the water fly. Let's not. Let's go with water because I have a tank. Water, I have my tank, Miranda. I've got my uh, DPSs. They are in the form of Ramada and in the form of Glaciela. Then we have, um, technically you might want a range uh, DPS, so I, was, I was definitely highlighting the wrong unit for DPS, but, ah, uh, fun jokes. Maybe you want a Venera, maybe you want someone with a range. I'd say I'm gonna go with Farm, because Farm has demise within a dream, and uh, that starts the chain. So she goes in first, starts the chain, the other two DPS will chime in and do maximum damage. And then one I want uh, is a healer in the form of Ildira. Now if you have a white mage, fine, go with full life and all the jazz. I don't have that, so I'm gonna go with Ildira. For the Aspers, we're gonna go and give them the Asper they deserve. You use Phoenix because you're a tank. Ildira uses Mind Flayer. Farm uses uh, Kraken. You're gonna use... You know what? Yeah, let's stick with Odin for now. I don't know if Ramada and um, Siren st still have to work on those. Once we've done that, we need to set up our vision cards. Now, let's begin with the DPSs. Ramada is going to take her um, attack up vision card, if I find it. There you go. Then we need to give them an element, a damage with the elements. In this case, we can choose between. What is that? Is it this one? 
this is too much too this is too much limited because this gives me a magic attack up with water but doesn't give me anything for um for the other dps type so we need to find something like this one aquatic songstress siren gives me water attack 35 percent give me fire attack resistance up and just water attack resistance up so this is good because this is a general vision card that will increase everyone's damage so we got attack up we got this vision card now we can go with crit damage and crit rate as always even though we could potentially do more damage by getting pierce attack but that's beside the point so let's go with uh, critical damage let's go with um, what is that give, give, give me the vision card all right critical rate up and then as she's being the tank you can go with either a michelinos uh, vision card or a tanking vision card that depends on whether you slot in a tank or a support let's go with that and let's go with Chocobo, sure, why not? Okay. Now, we need to do the same on the... Um... Now, obviously, I'm giving attack up because my main DPSs are all physical. She's gonna tank. She's basically healing. So these three girls are gonna be DPSing. So I base that ar about around that. If you don't want to give that, then you can go with something else that's something that gives you penetration i don't know if there is something for water whatever the case this is the general gist of the thing so next we're gonna need some more attacks okay so in this case i'm gonna give vow of love okay uh, it's not that yeah it gives me attack but it's not that great so we need to find a vision card that that gives me that generic attack because most of our damage is physical well if I can find it or is even better you can use this all element attack they're fine okay obviously there is no water here is it here maybe no they don't care okay let's give this one to everybody sure now you need to increase my uh, critical damage this this sounds final though slash attack is not the great in fact I'm gonna give that to uh, farm so she can benefit from that of course now we will need some critical hit rate up I think we have enough critical hit rate though missile attack we've got some luck we've got some stuff Missile attacking, attack up. Yeah, sure. But basically with mono element team, the only difference is instead of having a damage element, you have um, a damage type, you have a damage element. Slash resistance up. Magic up. I think identifying the type of damage you're gonna deal is uh, key. Because once you've done that, you can uh, plan your units around that. Agility plus 6%. Well, interesting. I'm gonna take this one. This one is uh, is nice. Gives me attack. Everything is set up. So guess who's gonna take the other vision card that gives agility? Cactar goes to Ildira. Congratulations. Okay, so now we have um, a nice setup of units good agility on this one we have 92 on this one we have 96 we need to up we need to uh, surpass Glaciella by the way so I'm gonna give bells to farm okay bells should take her to 105 that's perfect now let's start giving out the um, stuff we probably want to use a Aurora on her Then we want the Holy Lens on Ramada, of course. And then we want to give the uh, Elemental Spear to... I should have made two Holy Lenses. Damn it. And then we have the Kurokazumi over there for farm. 
I'm gonna give the uh, well this is basically basic equipment stuff so it is what it is suddenly she cannot wear anything decent <laughs> which is kind of kind of sad to be honest I mean this is not bad I could give her the Titus necklace instead of this one you can have that sure so you have spirit buffed up now you need some f something physical light attack resistance you can have your own jacket if I wanted to is there anything better than that? That spirit that's I don't think I have anything else that is actually better when it comes to Well I could give you Surges Surges uh, the guy. Seeker's wrap is not bad. It gives me some lightning attack resistance which kinda kinda fixes some of her vulnerabilities. So uh, sure, let's go with that. Right? Get to 67 defense, not bad. Could be could be much better, but it is okay. Uh, Romada is gonna be going with the um, yeah. You know what? You know what? Yeah, you go with your smart coat. Glacier is gonna go with the uh, dragon armor. You're gonna go with your uh, evasion type stuff, and you're gonna go with uh, something else. I don't know, something, anything. You can go with that. Soul of Tsamaza, give me 60 more magic, I don't think it's worth it. The Galmius Cloak I don't have. Whew. Let's go with Galmius Cloak, even though it removes two uh, agility points. Let's just make sure. Oh no, no, of course not, you, you, no, 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 absolutely not. You have your own armor, I, I almost forgot. What is this, Light Halberd, seriously? Shut up. Okay, we're gonna give you Inherited Tyranny from Aldoa's Apron. So you have 102. What is important is that you... So yes, you move first. And then Ramada is gonna get something else. Ramada is gonna need... I don't know. Like this one? Ramada, do you need that one? Do you want that 8 agility? Or do you want, like, this one? Why? Now just go with this one. Seriously. It's fine. And then of course Sildira has her own Trustmaster from Phoebe. There you go. So now we have a decent team. It's not as powerful as you can see here. For uh, like the uh, rainbow team. That is because maybe, of the, maybe the units, maybe the vision cards were not the best. I think they're the same I use on my rainbow team. I just instead of this one I had the slashing resist the slashing attack up. If you if you manage to have one single element in here, if I can take out farm and put another slash uh, piercing unit, I will probably use the uh, was that vision card, the Glaciella's vision vision card. And as it stands, this is how you build your rainbow team. Let's go to the far plane and as always see if we can do something. Anything. Let's go to the same as Blood Demand and do the same quest over and over again. I'm gonna try our um, nice little team here. I don't remember if my sub jobs are fine, but it, it's okay. So we will manage. I'm sure we will manage. Now, even though we have less battle, we have basically everyone is uh, it's basically like, like a, a rainbow team the fact that uh, a mono team actually exploit the fact that um, if the enemy is all weakened all weaker to uh, a said element you can use a rainbow team to get it going uh, do I want you to go over there let's begin yeah sure whatever who cares now you need to go with uh, inherited tyranny so lately I've been thinking about the effectiveness of one, two, three. Yeah, sure. I've been thinking about the effectiveness of the bells, and I think that you usually you don't have enough uh, you don't have enough turns to cast all of your buffs. So you're giving up a lot of damage for. Um, wow, you're really wow. I can do a dispelling trust on you, or. 
Or you're just useless because... Oh, you're a paladin, you cannot do um, that thing. Okay. Sure, let's go dispel and trust them. Remove buffs. Okay, you have been blinded, so just do what you can. I'm not expecting you to uh, survive. Let's see, maybe I can use, instead of that plumage, I can do a chain here. Okay, so we've got the chain going. Now we have the DPS. And the DPS is gonna go in with... Wait, what? You cannot use anything? Sure. I, d I, I don't believe that. So even a Javelin Claw does 9.6k. Leap Strikes does 4k on Miranda. I don't want to hit... Why would I want to hit my own teammates? Limit Break... I mean, limit cap on that move because of the critical damage. That's almost 2k of uh, critical damage. That's why it's important to know how to build your team. And then we're gonna go in here and get more damage. Now, potentially, I could use Triple Piercer, right? No, it's Armor Piercer. You're, you, yeah, you're basically cap on damage. With Chain 5, you're basically done. We're just gonna do a simple attack here and kill this guy. But that's how you basically build around your... Um... Can you move? Thank you. Every time um, she has to move, it takes forever. Okay, move over here. I'm gonna go with a Sentinel. Actually, I'm gonna go with a Taunting Blade because I don't have the aggro. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you boost the attack. That's not what I was... Thank you. Alright, so... We're gonna go in here and drop a nice Oborzuki. Now obviously she cannot start the chain. Leap Strike, I believe you. He's gonna do some healing, nice. Okay. She's getting hit very hard by these guys. I guess these guys are uh, magical monks. Uh, let me see. Yes, they have magic, so they're magical monks. What type of damage do they do? I think they do like Salir's damage, so that's magical. Alright, so what do we have here? Can I do anything with this? I... Shadow Stick? Why would I want to do Shadow Stick? Can I do a Armor Piercer? What if I do that? I only hit the Dragon. So, that's a um, bit of a bummer here. I can do armor piercer. There you go. 10k damage. Thank you very much. Now we're gonna drop some healing. Every time I have to wait 500 hours to... to no, just... Oh, damn it. It's either I heal... Uh, yeah, let's heal uh, the tank. So she's gonna go in here and just sentinel her way. There you go. I need to take care of this guy, to be honest. Ah, sure, just... Just do your thing. Leap striking, that's... That's my glassy. As you can see, that's how you build the team. Easy, easy. It's not as easy. Why do you want to do a Dread Spear Drive on, on her? Just, just... Can't you just destroy this this woman? Uh, obliterate, shadow stick. Yeah, let's do a shadow stick. There you go. Yeah, she's. Oh, I see. But that's not a problem because. <sighs> Can you? Do you mind? Thank you, game. So big ass AOE. It's not much damage from my healer. And then we're gonna kill this guy. And this was brutal, by the way. So, that's how you build your um, element team. Obviously, if you want to go in here, you have to go with the right element. So each event in PvE has a specified element that depends on the unit that is featured on the banner with which the event has, is uh, being released. 
That's very important. I have a platinum lens. Why would I want to craft a platinum lens? I don't know. I don't know. So that's, um, yeah. If you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. Again, you can focus on the damage type too if your DPSs are all of the same damage type. Otherwise, just go with the element, attack, critical damage, critical hit rate, and a tanking vision card for your tank. Sub vision cards are the same, okay? So that's everything I have to show you for today. And stay tuned for next uh, for more unit reviews. If you need a tutorial about something, let me know. If I haven't covered it, I will um, I will do it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.